Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you. So let's dive in right off the bat and see what Spirit has to say for us. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light, I call you into my beautiful space. I ask for a clear, precise channeled message and protection while I'm channeling this message from a beautiful collective watching me right now. Guys, remember, this is a general, timeless, and collective reading, so it may or may not resonate from start to finish. Please only take what resonates to you and leave the rest to somebody it does, okay? I love yous. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button if you're new to the channel so you get notified when I post new content. Uh, smash the bell icons, excuse me. <laughs> Let's tap in, okay, guys? Spirit guides, can you close anything other than the highest white light? What are we tapping into? Overall energy? We got beyond the heart, beyond the mind, the heart beats, okay? So put everything aside and think about what you want passionately. What makes your heart beat? What makes you want to move forward? What drives you on a daily basis to be a better person, okay? This is what's going on here. With the Rebel deck, we have two cards here. We have Receive and we have Going Beyond Normal, Okay, so number 14, going beyond normal is change. Okay, and it's reduced down to a five. Excuse my nails, guys. I need to let them grow out a little bit because, yeah, I took them right off. Like, <laughs> I had to cut them off. But anyways, whatever. I'm just, it's, it can grow back. So going beyond normal. You have some kind of idea, some kind of goal, some kind of uh, inspiration that's driving you on a daily basis, like I said. And it's time to receive. Number 12, yeah, number 27 is a number nine so there's something that needs to end in order for you to be receptive now this could be a thought process a miserly something is hindering you from going forward in this new beginning or this new project or this new idea but you have to go beyond normal so what you want is beyond normal okay nobody is gonna understand why you're doing this and they're not supposed to. It is your journey and your journey alone. But you got the chariot here. Somebody is in the king of cups in reverse, okay? This is why they're having a hard time to give something to you. They know you're very receptive and they're coming towards you. They know there's some kind of victory or you are getting victory. You have overcame whatever obstacles were in your way and you're successful. And that ambitious energy that you have, that success to work together, but also to be able to heal. So you're very, you're, you, it's like you sit on the truth. Somebody has so much fear and anxiety because of this King of Cups energy. It's like a lack inside. There's a, there are a lot of, uh, there's a, somebody stumbling on their motherfucking words, can't find their words. Okay. There's emotionally, imma, emotional immaturity going on here. And um, they're overwhelmed with this anxiety. Somebody needs to heal from a near-death experience. They're, they're sitting on this truth, but they need to speak about it. Maybe speak about some kind of working together. This is why they're, they they want to bring in something to you, but they're not sure if you're going to be receptive. So they're insecure and they're overthinking, overanalyzing, and it's causing them to be very lack wow it's a king of cups okay so this i mean this king of wands this king of wands needs to make a change okay something that's really like brightening them up like they have this brilliant idea and they want to do this but the thing is is that in order to be the leader they have to go beyond normal like whatever they're thinking of it's like a lot of people have lied on this legacy so a lot of people aren't going to understand what this is or why this person is doing this, taking this leadership quality and being optimistic about something that clearly everybody else is against. It's clearly they're against, but it's the five of wands and it's in reverse. So somebody might have lied on this, um, on this legacy. Somebody trusts you, though. There's like this financial windfall coming in for this person. It's judgment with the hangman. Somebody needs to stop lying to themselves or being tricky, okay? Somebody was tricky. But the thing is, is now they have to compromise. Somebody wants to end this conflict and reach some kind of agreement with you. They want to go beyond normal so that this way they can be on the mind, the heartbeat. So somebody was very in the, much in the 3D, money and all this stuff of the external. And they didn't think about their heart. And now somebody is going towards that heart, their heartbeat, okay? So... They had to sacrifice something. Somebody is looking at things in a different perspective and it's causing their heart to like, um, okay, so like the Grinch, you know, how the Grinch's heart turns 
hand size is bigger because of Cindy Lou Who. This is what I'm feeling, okay? And somebody felt energetically trapped or or is trapped in some kind of environment. And the only way to get out of it is to do this self-evaluation, to awaken themselves and renew something internally so that they can forgive themselves for whatever blame that's going on that's keeping them hindering. Somebody doesn't want to juggle in anymore, okay? So bottom of the deck, it's the Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody feels like there's some kind of unrequited love or you have unrequited love, they have unrequited love. I don't know, somebody's a manipulator and they're a heartbreaker or you see them this way and that this is what's causing them to feel insecure because you look at them as only a one-night stand like they're a fucking cheater with this. And then the Knight of Swords, it's like if somebody comes in, are you going to tell them 555 five, five, five on my clock, guys, okay? So there's major changes. Somebody's coming in to speak the truth, but they're scared you're going to see them for who they are or that this is how you see them, Okay. But somebody is fearing of change and fearing that you're going to move on. Do something without them or or that you have. Take it as it resonates. Put yourself where you belong, guys. Okay, I'm just the reader. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. <laughs> I love you. And let's tap in and get some more messages here, okay? Because somebody is coming forward or you are just, your hard work is paying off. Somebody is very disciplined. And they know that your willpower is so strong. That's why the Three of Pentacles is here twice. Somebody really wants to work with you, really wants to work with you, but they're insecure like you're not going to take their offer because of how emotionally unstable they were or you see them as. Take it as it resonates, but somebody's overloaded mentally and needs to rest. Six of Pentacles. Somebody didn't give you reciprocity, but somebody wants to come and give you reciprocity now. And there was... There's somebody who is very much a pick me energy around you or around them that is very upset that they're not choosing them anymore. Death in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to have an ending with you. They're coming in to offer you something, something to do with work, partnership, seven of swords. But somebody has been lying the whole time on you. What's the Seven of Swords, Spirit Guides? What's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, it's the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands. Somebody lied on you, like I said earlier, with the Seven of Swords here and the Five of Wands. It's the same cards coming back out. Okay, look. For that, and then for this. Okay, so it's the same thing. Somebody is realizing, getting a, a epiphany, understanding that what's blocking them is the lies that they said. But they clearly don't want to transform. They don't want to do the work or they don't want you to walk away and have a, a complete ending. But somebody is so emotionally unstable. They need to rest right now. Yeah, it's the Nine of Swords. Okay, this King of Wands, Leo Aries Sag, does not have to be, is a visionary. But the thing is, is that they're in a mental entrapment right now because they walked away from a legacy because of their own inner trust issues. So they lied on you, magician, and did some dark magic. This is why somebody is in their head. They might have done sex magic, manipulation, something, but it was very dark, and it was because of their thought process. This is why they don't want to fight anymore. This is why they lied. Everything they lied on you was really just a reflection of their own inner demons. Heart of the deck, it's the empress. See what I'm saying? This king of wands is coming in to fight for you. Doesn't want to fight with you anymore, but is willing to fight for you because you are the empress. And they did magic on you because of their own inner demons, their own immaturities. And they know this. This is why you're fucking inspiring somebody so much. Three is the empress, guys. You are inspiring somebody to listen to their, their heart and not their mind because their mind has been listening to the external world. And somebody doesn't want to juggle anymore. So somebody did some self-evaluation. No longer blaming or just somebody wants forgiveness. Take it as it resonates, guys. But it's the hangman there. It's like somebody did feel stuck, but they had to eliminate something. Maybe they eliminated you thinking that was the right thing to do. But somebody wants to come out of the cold now. No longer wants to be left out from you. But they think you see them as unrequited love because they didn't express themselves fully towards you and they lied on you knowing that you were the empress. Seven of cups. Now somebody feels like you have a lot of options. But that's not the case. You might have a lot of options, but you're very 
you're selective social guys and it's only because you know yourself and you know your values and somebody wants to come in and, and invest in you okay they might not have invested with you before they might have juggled you but they don't want to juggle anymore somebody is listening to their heart okay and not their mind because underneath that it's heaven sent so you are heaven sent to somebody and somebody should have told you that but they didn't Instead, they lied on their own heart. You were inspirational, and you're very inspirational to this day, to this person. You are their son. You are their light. You are whatever, and somebody wants to come in and invest in you. But they do think uh, if they make this big change and change opportunities and seize the moment that you're own you're that you're gonna do what they did to you. You're gonna cheat on them. You're gonna manipulate them. You're gonna break their heart. And this is so fucked up. This is so ass backwards. Look, somebody is coming in either way to tell you the truth. Because they know that that's not the truth. That's just what their mind is thinking when their heart thinks about that. That's not the truth. That's why whatever's in the dark is coming to light. Guys, 1111 is on my clock as we speak. Okay, so whatever's in the dark is coming to light. Somebody's hidden emotions is being seen. And so is the magic. Somebody is coming in with an apology. Okay, it's a small offer. So don't get all ex fucking excited or anything like that. But it's just an offer. Somebody could be messaging you. But it's an opportunity to move away to calmer waters. Okay? Get out of some kind of turbulence of some kind of mental entrapment. Because somebody sees you as the empress and adores the fuck out of you. Nine of cups. They want to move away from this turbulence of overindulging. Somebody is overindulging because of their own in immaturities. This um, bipolar energy kind of per se, okay? Two of cups. But you got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's up to you if you want to take this. But it's going to be very inspirational. But this two of cups brought you a lot of heartbreak. That's why you have to think about it, guys, okay? But you have to go understand that it's about going beyond normal. Changing the game up. Understanding and being inspirational. To be able to receive. Everybody deserves love, guys. You just have to find the right one that truly values you and is not going to put you on the back burner. Somebody has been so hurt, whether this is you or somebody else, so hurt that they all they think that it's always going to be unrequited love because of these meetings that of souls that they had. And that's not true. There was two or more people discussing and planning your downfall, and now there's two or more people discussing and planning your uprise. So remember, there's always a balance, okay, guys? As much as you have haters, there's good people out there, okay? And somebody's been searching for you all over the place, in all kinds of people, in all kinds of places. Maybe this person goes to places that you used to go to just to meet up with you, but you changed your whole everything, so they're never going to really find you because they don't know where you are, but they're definitely fucking reminiscing about you, and they should have invested in you or they're thinking about investing in you. Yeah, somebody is intrigued with you, indulging in you, watching you, taking that popcorn pause in, taking notes. They are studying you guys. Okay, timing is a factor when it comes to this two of cups. So it's really about divine timing at the end of the day. But the bigger picture is you inspire somebody to stand up for themselves, be the leader. And somebody feels lost because they ghosted you or because you ghosted them. I was put it where it belongs, guys, okay? But somebody feels blocked because you cut them off. Maybe they didn't treat you right. Maybe they were rude and disrespectful. Clearly, they're a liar if that seven of swords keeps coming out. But they don't want to fight anymore, okay? So somebody feels left out from themselves because of this poison, this toxic environment, people, places, whatever that kept them in overindulging. There's a lot of toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people that this person or you had to get rid of in order for you to be able to spill the tea. Now, somebody is coming in on the verge of confessing everything because they've been searching for this empress, for you, male, female, whatever this is, in a lot of people. And they got records on you. They have receipts on you. Okay? A lot of people have receipts on you. And they also have receipts on why these peop other people are in their mental entrapment and why... It's because of this magic, okay? People can't take away this legacy, guys. This legacy lies within you. And this divine masculine, whoo, look at him. He is strong. He is coming in to protect you, this king of wands. Because 
the legacy lies with the two of you. Now, this is a king, this is an empress, okay? So somebody needs to take the lead in order for them to stand in this divine masculine energy because right now they're just a masculine because of some kind of energy. This is, there's nothing there. This is why somebody is on the verge of confessing their toxic, unhealthy behavior so that they can level up and get out of this and walk away, but they have to apologize with this cup. So whether this is friends, family, acquaintances, a job, whatever this is, guys, somebody is taking the lead. That king of wands could be a female. Put yourself where you belong. But somebody was emotionally unstable towards you. Past, present, shit, could be a future. Who knows? But I think we should slow down. Somebody wants you to slow down so that they can catch up to you. But you're telling them no. Somebody is absolutely in love with you. If they love you, they'll catch up. You know, there's no reason for you to wait for anybody to put yourself in the back burner. Keep encouraging. Keep doing you. It, don't pay attention to other people, okay? Because remember, love is the answer. And we have to love ourselves first before we can love another person. And this is exactly what's so fucking indulging about you is because you truly do love yourself. This is why you are absolutely a, like somebody is absolutely in love with you. And it's this divine mask. Well, this masculine who wants to be divine. But in order to do that, they're going to have to be the leader. But now is not the time because now is the time for self-love, self-healing. Because there's too many people in the external trying to fight, but somebody is really calling these people out. Whoever threw the rock and hit the hand, they are getting busted. Because somebody's life started when they met you, that two of cups, and it's facts. It's facts. This is why somebody can't stop watching you. Because you were reciprocity. And this family, this corporation, this group, this toxic environment is the reason why this heartbreak happened to this two of cups because so many people were indulged in this relationship, in this partnership, whatever this is, and they were jealous. So, of course, they're going to talk shit, try to break it up. But love is the an answer, and you always know this. This is why somebody is reminiscing on that love and wants to come and invest. But they're insecure and nervous because you have a lot of options, but so do they. And you're not insecure about it because you know who the fuck you are. You reclaim back your power. If they have a lot of people, good for them. If they want to jeopardize losing you, well, then that's on them. You see what I mean? Because you have self-control and you would not jeopardize a relationship for some fucking trash. You wouldn't do it. Somebody is waiting for you, whether you're waiting for somebody. But I already told you not to do that, okay? Just keep doing yourself. But somebody is waiting for you because they got that fucking big dick energy for you to ace oh it's ace of swords this is the truth guys okay something to do with that big energy if i asked you to stay would you leave somebody is about to ask you to stay okay or wants you to ask them to stay which is not gonna happen somebody needs to take the lead right now somebody is worried a lot because their family is not gonna like you or their family doesn't like you, or your family's not going to like them. Fuck, who cares? This is uh, the whole fucking point, right? That's why you have to go beyond normal. Like I said at the beginning, this doesn't make sense. It's not going to make sense. It's only going to make sense to who it makes sense to. Like, you know, I don't know what to say. It just this is what's coming out. <sighs> Somebody's heart is just overflowing with chemistry and passion. But they're alienated from their family or this group or something because of the love they have for you or you're going to, I don't know, take it as it resonates, guys. If somebody doesn't want to be with uh, friends, family, a job, whatever, doesn't want you around because of somebody that you love, well, then that's fine. They, you love them. You know, if you're not hurting them or or you're, if you're not hurting your lover or the people around you then what is their problem? It's just a uh, jealousy thing. So this and this miss it, guys. Because this divine, ma this divine, it's divine timing. Somebody is in a lot of fucking regret right now because they repressed a lot of emotions, but it's divine timing that this third party, whatever about this third party, this toxic behaviors come out. It's time to speak the truth. Because somebody knows, and a lot of people know, especially these third parties, that somebody's life began the day they met you. And this is why they're coming in to spill the tea, or somebody is, because of all this regret and these repressed emotion that this divine masculine is giving to this divine feminine. Or this, I really don't feel like this masculine is divine. I'm not joking. This is why you had the courage to walk away. Because it's not so fucking divine, but he wants to be. Somebody needs to have the courage to come and confess and reveal the truth. 
if they want to get their throne, if they want to be in this position and tap into this higher self and activate their, their self and get that wish fulfillment. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. You are the empress. Everything you touch turns to gold. You got that Midas touch. You're beautiful, self-sufficient, you know, smell good, look good. Kids are taken care of. House is clean. You're very valuable internally. You may not have a lot of money, but that doesn't mean you're not fucking valuable. And somebody might have been very materialistic. And that's why somebody didn't give to you before because of their toxic binded patterns and their thought processes. This is why somebody is letting go of those belief systems because they got caught in a till that to them part contract. Somebody had a Saturn return and on their Saturn return, they ended up realizing that they got in a contract till that didn't part. They really are binded to this toxicity and the only way to get out is in harvest. Something was realized in harvest time and autumn time about this family, about this group or about starting some kind of brand of commitment. Somebody got out of a commitment because it was toxic, whether this is you or somebody around you. Somebody wants to go home, have a real marriage, a real commitment, and it's not till debt do you part. It's about building, inspiring, being the inspiration, guys. You're not draining. What the fuck? And then look, yeah, look, you triggered the fuck out of somebody. Somebody had a breakup, uh, a divorce, something, guys. People could tell, call you a home wrecker, but it looks like the home was already motherfucking wrecked. You had nothing to do with it, but somebody is blaming you for this. Somebody's being triggered because they were copying you the whole fucking time. Somebody found out. Now there's a lot of disharmony in the, in the energy, whether this is family, friends, acquaintance, uh, ex-lover, whatever this is. Somebody is pissed the fuck off because you're standing firm on your foundations and you got structure, discipline, and you're very goal-oriented and a soulmate is coming in. Okay, somebody of friendship, whether you have this already or not, you have a romantic partner coming in or this person is inspiring to you to be this divine feminine, soft, gentle, loving, kind, because they are super respectful towards you. Okay, so spirit guides, let's get some mess. Ooh, wow, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you got the wings of light, guys. You became something new and it's really fucking got a lot of people inspired because through that heartbreak, you are still persevering and gathering your blessings. It's harvest time, baby. So understand that it's about sacred gratitude. Be grateful for everything, the good, the bad, and everything in between. It's all learning lessons, guys. How are you supposed to learn if you don't make the mistakes? But learn, okay? Because miracles happen every day. It's about tapping into that wisdom, that Akashic records, that ancient knowledge, understanding that we all have the ability to change our lives. And it is possible, especially because you are a walking miracle. So if you're a walking miracle, then so can somebody else, okay? You got to tap into those deep emotions, those unknown feelings. Understand it's about making waves and, and changing the game. But there's going to be a lot of people who are hostile about your choices because it's going beyond normal. You're tapping into something that nobody understands but you, but it brings high vibrations. And that's all that matters is love. And a lot of people don't want you to have that soulmate or familiar pa um, partner because then it'll bring in a lot of beautiful abundance with love brings in money so anybody who is in the bucket full of crabs inevitably will not want you to have that ten of pentacles okay so remember that okay bottom of the deck it's clairvoyance now you have the power to see, feel, hear, and interpretate what that is and trust your instincts. Somebody trusts your instincts as well. They might not have before. They might have even lied on you and laughed at you, but oh my God, they ain't doing that no more. No, no, no. It's number 22 because you are master number 22, baby. This is why they ain't laughing no more. Let's read it to you. Prisoner of mourning. This is why they ain't laughing no more. And this is why they're coming in with that page of cups to apologize. Okay, so prisoner of mourning. It says, disappointment, legacy, and lost love. You have given your emotional energy to another and may now feel be feeling let down, disappointed, and vulnerable. There is a confusion around you as where things went wrong. And when you fall in love, you love completely. And you put your all into a relationship. But rest assured, the issue was not with you. The timing of this union was not quite right. And something better will come into your life. And anger and hurt you feel now will seem a million miles away. 
Love will soon come into your life again and any negative feelings you now hold will disappear. The tide is about to turn for you. You may not know at what stage you uh what <laughs> you may not know at this stage what you need, but you certainly know what you no longer require. Your vulnerability at this time is understandable, but do not let negative experiences hold you back. Remind yourself that you are a beautiful soul and you deserve better. Okay? So some you you deserve better. You know you deserve better. Somebody knows you deserve better, so what the fuck? <laughs> That's what you're going to get. <laughs> so let's get the juice, all right? So overall energy, major arcana, spirit guides. Let's see. You are receiving. You're receptive. You are drinking your water. Where is my water? It's way over there. Hey, my puppies. Oh, it's, I love you, my puppy. You're drinking your water, minding your business, doing your tang. <laughs> and you have a two of cups coming in with a lot of motherfucking passion. But that passion that somebody has for you secretly or openly, who knows? Fuck, it could be high key, low key, whatever. But it's got a lot of people fucking triggered or it's going to have a lot of people triggered. Because you're the fucking star. I don't make it up. What's at the bottom here? Judgment. Ooh, a lot of people judged you. And I'm talking about a lot of people. Because you were calm, you had hope, they laughed at you because of your healing. They knew you were going to end up getting wish granted, so they judged you. Now these people are learning a crazy karmic lesson about malicious gossip and lack of fucking self-awareness. It is what it is, guys. That self-doubt, it really does show. But somebody is going through judgment and, you know, <sighs> they had no choice but to accept your fucking gifts. You are who you are. You're blessed. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's time to do well by others, okay? Somebody needs to do well by you, okay? And it's somebody from your past life. Now you're closed off because you want upgrades or you're getting an upgrade or you're closed off until somebody upgrades and does the, the, the next step, does the choices, reflects. That's what it is. Until they reflect on, get out of their fucking headspace. Somebody's having a 911 call because you are a starseed. And you are gifted. And they're not sleeping because you are a fucking good mother. You are a good provider. You are everything that they said you were not. And they knew what you were. This is why the Seven of Swords is fucking out there twice. And somebody is in the Five of Wands twice. In reverse. Because they don't want to fight anymore, yo. They're waiting for you. But they can't even look at you right now. Because of this change that you made. They're so insecure. They don't think that you're going to take this offer to work with them again. Or to start something with them. Fuck, I don't know. <sighs> but you got to use that clairvoyance, okay? To bring in this balance. Stability and standing firm on your beliefs, okay? Don't bend, don't borrow, don't break. You got this, okay? I truly, truly br uh, believe in you. But there is a lot of people drinking the poison, okay? Like the haterade and shit, you know? But you're the sun. I'm telling you, you're somebody's light in a dark tunnel. And they're coming towards you and ending some kind of cycle with some kind of Jezebel, mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, ex, lover, whatever. But this Aries is going on a life purpose. The Aries is the emperor. There he is, the emperor. It's going towards the empress. But somebody's having a breaking point because of this, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, because somebody is getting their strength to do this. Remember, what you put out, you get back, guys. Somebody wants you just as much as you want them, but the reason why they are closed off is because you need to raise your vibrations. And somebody keeps telling somebody that you're on the DL or that they are on the DL or somebody is on the DL. I don't know. There's a lot of lovers here. You got a choice, guys. Somebody has a choice. Maybe between uh, somebody straight and somebody not. Fuck, who knows? But somebody needs to be honest about this because you're going to find out either way. And somebody might be trying to blackmail somebody with this on the download situation. But if you love somebody, you don't give a fuck as long as they're telling the fucking truth and they don't fucking do it again. Remember, if they're willing to sacrifice you and do some stupid shit to jeopardize you losing you, well, then that's it. They lose you. These ex-friends, ex-family members, ex-lovers are all going to feel some kind of way because you are self-made. And they're all jealous of you. They did all of this fucking stupid shit because they were jealous of you, because you're self-made, because you're the sun and the star and the moon and the everything. <laughs> Let's get one of these in the heart of the deck. They're jealous because you got this love offer coming in. You're about to build your family from the ground up all by yourself. Somebody wants to spend the holidays with you. 
Might start off with a friendship, guys. Or maybe somebody remembers the holidays with you. That's why they're reminiscing. But they ghosted you. So they clearly didn't appreciate you. And this is why you probably look at them as if it's unrequited love and like they're a heartbreaker and a manipulator. And they're only good for a one night stand. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Somebody turned real fucking toxic. But there's a miracle happening. Okay? It's miracle season, guys. Remember that. So fucking things can fucking change in a heartbeat. And it says, I left before you could leave me. Somebody was insecure and they left before you could leave them. And they went towards something toxic, lied on you, went towards two or more people, maybe because you didn't want to be in a polygamous relationship. Maybe they had a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Fucking you didn't want to play like that. I don't know. But somebody is coming in to tell you the truth. And it says, I don't react when people mention you. They don't react because they know that they're going to get karma right away. And if they react, somebody is going to see that they really do still have a lot of fucking feelings for you. I'm telling you, true love wins. Somebody has a lot of feelings for you. Let's get the affirmation. Nope, it's time to release. Somebody needs to release. Release the past. Release the way they thought about you. The Release you. Release everything. Expectations. You need to do these as well. It says, may you lay down your burdens. It's time to let go of the burdens, guys. Allow beautiful new things to come in because you are you. And nobody is better than you. And nobody can be you. Okay? So, I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being and I listen and I listen to and honor and thrive within the needs of my soul. Okay? So you're honoring yourself, you're thriving, you're seeing the bigger picture and you're going with love, compassion, not just for yourself but for others. And you're rebelling the fuck out like I started with the rebel deck, guys. My beautiful rebels are rebelling the fuck out and constructing a new life, and showing others that it is more than possible to do so, to bring balance out of a really fucked up situation, and to be the divine mother, okay, and it says nurture, compassion, and grace, have grace for people, guys, because your soul is radiating, you are the, you are the phoenix rising, and you brought balance to a situation that was very imbalanced, and people are not going to understand how the fuck? What the fuck? Why the fuck? But it's called a miracle for a fucking reason. Okay? So, not going to make sense, but it's going to make fucking complete sense to you if that makes any sense. <laughs> Heart of the deck, it says, no need to fear. Remember how protected you are. Okay? No need to fear, guys. Remember how protected you are. You are love. You are guided into, you know, a new opportunity. So take it. Jump, jump and head first okay so let's get the subconscious message but the planet wants to come out first okay so planet message is the sun again the yang i'm telling you this divine masculine this masculine energy wants to come out this pro, uh, pro proactivity expression doing moving forward somebody needs to stand in that sun energy that masculine energy be proactive express themselves <coughs> excuse me somebody's throat chakra is so blocked up every time they fucking think of speaking they get choked up so it's the last one it's goodness i overcome my imperfections polish my character and feed on the positive thus i free myself allow the goodness to manifest and become a source of joy through gentleness i offer unconditional support understanding and love to myself and others that's what somebody needs to do to you treat you well do but do good by you do good by themselves first, and then they will do good by you. Okay, so the tower of truth is coming, guys. All eyes are on you. Somebody is coming in to tell you the truth. It's bringing a lot of anxiety. I'm feeling some kind of way in my heart chakra. But it's warm. Somebody's having a game over, and your dreams are going to come true. So some one person is going to fall. Somebody is going to hurt. It is what it is, guys. But your dreams are going to come true. Aquarius. And Aries, you know your worth, guys. That's the only fucking two cards that are coming out in strength. Okay, so, and the sun. You're self-made. In order to be self-made and be the star and be the emperor, you're going to have to go and do what you need to do for yourself. Okay, so I love yous. I hope this resonated. I hope this gave you some clarity today on this journey. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon if you're feeling generous. Um, I'll put my PayPal there. It's all in the description bar. Okay. My readings are still closed. I'm sorry. But if you want to like do a, if you want to wait a couple weeks, then we'll wait a couple weeks. Okay. But your psychic abilities are high and you see the future, not just for yourself, for others. So 
manifest through the heart chakra, okay? And this is why a lot of people are blocking you and talking shit. And it's got somebody <laughs> really, like, really in a mental entrapment. But they are definitely either mad because you have a king of wands coming in or they're switching the energy to raise to your vibration. But you have to cut off these friends, family members, and these ex-lovers that are clearly over and top, over, um, could be a cancer that's clearly doing word magic to keep you in a mental entrapment so you won't believe in yourself and you won't go forward, okay? I truly hope this helped. Please put respect where respect is due. Know your self-worth. Know who you are. Use your intelligence. Take your mind with you. with your heart. But choose your heart first, okay? Because the mind can really get us messed up, especially when people are playing games in our head with words and stuff. They, but you're going in your life purpose, so please be the star in your own life and don't hand nobody to paintbrush to that okay i love you stay blessed you got this you are protected beyond measures okay somebody is just very insecure but you can do this okay i love you guys stay blessed have a beautiful night and whoever's sending you word magic manipulation to you to anybody around you they better stop because at the end of the day, they're the ones who are going to end up getting hung. And this is why you're triggering a lot of people. Because people are waking up. And the ones who are waking up are eliminating the toxic people out of their lives in order for them to go on their life purpose and be self-made. Somebody is checking those behavior problems and cutting them right the fuck off along with the people. So congratulations. I love you. Cheers. Let's manifest through the heart chakra. Remember, don't fucking ghost people. Talk to them. Hear them out. Okay? Somebody's upset because they chose to ghost you and now they want to spin the block. Hear them out, guys. Somebody's about to look. Didn't I just? Somebody's about to message you. Hear them out. Whether it's a message or something. I don't know. Somebody feels like they're blocked and you're not going to talk to them, but they're going to try anyways. Okay? So listen to them out. Mwah. I'll talk to you later. Have a beautiful night. And I really hope that I helped you. Bye.